What is this wall fixture with two bells, two faceplates with two dials and buttons, six arrows that appear to rotate, a red light, and a door? Located in the hallway of a home built in 1905 in Illinois, I cannot read the text on the object due to image quality. Any idea what it is? It's an old enunciator for summoning staff. This means that most of the rooms in the house would have had a doorbell-like thing. When pressed, this would have alerted a servant in the kitchen via an enunciator. This must be battery-operated that used waving flags or moving boxes to indicate which room required assistance, and was used in the late 19th century. What is this 4-inch tall candle holder or goblet-like thing with both ends cupped? It seems really old. And it's made of brass I think. This thing has been nagging at me for months. Also, I'm interested in if anyone knows what the engravings mean. I saw somewhere that it may be a communion cup or a chalice. It's been in my dad's room for a while now, and he doesn't even know what it is or where it came from. I also live in Georgia in the States, and I really doubt it's from here though. Any help is appreciated. It's a bell-shaped mid-century double jigger by Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company, from the 1960s. A measuring device for alcohol and cocktails. And it is made of electroplated nickel silver. That's what the EPNS means. What is this long 90-degree angled plier? Where the top handle can be twisted to close the pliers on the bottom. It's around 1 meter long, and if the top handle is turned clockwise, the pliers close. If the top handle is turned anti-clockwise the pliers open. The static part of the pliers has two fingers, while the moving part is one finger. It can be held on the wooden shaft with one hand, and the top handle can be operated with the other hand. What is this thing? It's an early 19th century clinker tongs. The purpose of this antique tool was to remove and discard clinkers, which is the material remaining after burning coal in a stover furnace. Also I have seen this item used in old country stores to grab items from high shelves. What are these tanks on a flatbed trailer being towed by a utility truck? They appear to be connected together and look like weirdly shaped propane tanks. It is about the height of a full-size air compressor and appears to be mounted to the trailer. I'm not sure if it can be easily removed or not. Given the type of truck, it looks like some sort of utility thing perhaps for welding or something. The smaller tank has roughly the same shape, just smaller in all dimensions. What is it? That is an LPG mobile calibration trailer. Designed for verification and calibration of retail and commercial meters used for LPG sales. The system is designed to pump from the LPG meter being tested into one of two LPG provers installed on the trailer via the installed LPG pump for measurement and then using the same pump, return the LPG product back to the device system being proved. This table is advertised with no description, measurements, or any other photos. All four sides appear to fold upwards for some reason, and the hinges retract down into the legs. It seems to be made from good quality wood, and is for indoor use. Any ideas? That is an English tea side table from the early 20th century. You would have a silver tray with the teapot, sugar bowl, and creamer set down in the center, and put the teacups and saucers you're filling on the fold-down shelves. Tea tables were set in front of a sofa or set of chairs, with the top being as high as a modern side table, and the fold-out shelves being lower like the height of a coffee table. What is this small item made from brass and steel, with the threaded portion that's numbered? I was given this item by someone who arranged estate sales. It's small but somewhat heavy. The bottom part slides and can be locked, leaving a void on top. Almost seems like it's meant to measure something. There is also what seems to be a micro adjustment on the bottom. It seems old and well worn. It was in a box of things that were going to be trashed by someone organizing an estate sale. There were tons of odd and obscure items that were headed for the dump. I just happened to be patching drywall in the house at the time. The man seemed to be very eclectic. What is this thing? It's a black powder charge measure, an old one. The cap is turned to allow fine increments between the numbers on the threaded shaft. Fill the tube with grains of powder. Then dump it into your old school muzzleloader. 
What is this spring-loaded tool that has about 3 fourths inch of swing? It weighs 1 pound 3 ounces and is approximately 8 inches in overall length, and the jaws are normally open. It was found at the bottom of a tool bag in an estate sale. It feels well made and says Collins Indiana USA on one side and Colo Spring Company on the other side. Thanks for the help. It's a nail puller, a versatile and easy to use nail puller. Despite its small size it can easily pull out a 5 inch nail. Even when the head is off or buried deep in the wood, you use it together with your carpenter's hammer and pull using the claw. What is this glass jar with a ring of holes around the base, about 20 centimeters round, roughly 15 centimeters tall, and looks to be handmade but no idea what it is for. In German it is called Stoffchen, or a warmer. It holds a glass teapot where you put a candlelight in it, and a teapot above to keep the drink warm. My parents have this. You are missing a metal cover that supports the teapot and the teapot itself, and the holes are for oxygen. What is this antique metal object I found at my local charity shop in the south of the Netherlands? It is in the shape of a droplet and has a button or pressing mechanism, and a tiny hole in the top that you can screw off. It also comes with a matching box, and there doesn't seem to be a clicking mechanism. Any ideas as to what it might be? It's a 1920s atomizer perfume bottle, made in France by Marcel Frank who is known for its different perfume bottles and atomizers. It is slightly smaller than a business card, and it easily fits in a pocket or purse. Solid brass parts are used which are then electroplated to ensure durability. What is this object for? The lid opens and closes, and it has a mechanism to unfold to the size of a wristband. It also has a short chain on it. I found it at the Berlin flea market. Any ideas? That is the top part of an accordion purse, more commonly called a gate top purse and beggar's bag. It was made by Whiting and Davis in the 1920s. Whiting and Davis has been around since the 1890s. It began as a chain manufacturing company and by the early 1900s, had launched into chain mesh bags. In 1912, founding partners Charles Whiting and Edward Davis purchased the patent for a process to make metal mesh by machine. By the 1920s enamel was being used to decorate the bags. They have been making metal mesh ever since, with just a brief hiatus during World War II, when they stopped making bags in order to help with the war effort. What are these aged four-eyed mustached metal faces found in a late man's lockbox? The said man was born in 1951 and died in 2000. He was born and raised in Rhode Island and moved to Alaska in the 80s. I don't know if it helps, but it does give a timeline. I mention where they were found because otherwise I have no idea where they came from. Any idea what are these? Please leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.